Hello everybody, my name is Mizba and today I'm going to give you a quick tour around Wakelet. So what is Wakelet? Some of you may have heard about it before, it's really simple. Wakelet is a platform that allows you to quickly save any kind of mixed media content you find on the web, arrange it into visual, engaging collections, add your own content to these collections and then share them with your students, your teachers and your learning community. You can also invite your students to these collections so they can contribute their own ideas and work together to create some really amazing things. One platform, one simple concept, unlimited possibilities. And this last part is really important. Wakelet is 100% free to use and 100% unlimited. How awesome is that? Now, there are three important areas where Wakelet can really help you. The first one is organize your learning resources quickly and easily. The second one is sharing those resources in a more engaging and visual way. And the third one is to boost collaborative skills within your learning communities. So real quick, let me show you a few awesome examples of how educators just like you are using Wakelet to achieve some incredible things in their schools, their classrooms, and their professional lives. So first of all, we're gonna head to Brandy Reens's collection. Now, Brandy is a kindergarten teacher, North Carolina, and she uses Wakelet in so many different ways, but one of the best ways that she uses it is to actually curate these amazing um, uh, interactive visual newsletters that she shares with her school community. So in this collection right here, you can see one of Brandy's collections, uh, one of Brandy's newsletters. She's got a Flipgrid video here, She's got the week's goals, so this is really awesome when it comes to instructing the, um, the parents on what's happening in the class and, uh, and for the students to understand where they are. Uh, and again, another Flipgrid video, uh, a YouTube video of, uh, of the kids doing the lion dance, uh, and then all of these little resources here, so a PDF and uh, a website, um, and she's organized them in an incredible way, and as you can see, all of a sudden, rather than just having hyperlinks one after the other, this is a really, really engaging newsletter. And it's simply done by just copying and pasting links. And I'll show you that in just a few moments. So here we go, sharing newsletters, creating an amazing newsletter that you can share with whoever you want. So next up, we have this amazing collection created by a teacher called Edward van der Sample, and he wanted to teach his students a little bit more about the civil rights movements in the United States and get his students to think a little bit more deeper into what that meant. So he created a Wakelet collection as a lesson plan, and here you can see he's got some text here. This is instruction. He's added some YouTube videos. He's also uh, directly uploaded a, um, well, recorded a Flipgrid video directly into the collection. I'll show you how to do that in just a few moments. Again, a PDF and then more instruction. Now this link here actually posts to a student response wakelet. So he shared a unique code with his students. They've gone to that code and then been able to add their own responses and their own thoughts and complete this particular assignment um, uh, in their own particular way. So I really love this collection. I think it's an amazing example of a lesson plan and another really good uh, example of pulling lots of different resources together using that mixed media effect to create an amazing lesson plan. Lastly, we've got uh, Julie Parsons. Now, Julie Parsons, this is a, what you're looking at right now is a Wakelet profile. And uh, Julie Parsons is a, a, one of our amazing student ambassadors, and she's created a, a digital portfolio on Wakelet, right? So what she's been able to do here is turn her uh, profile page into this amazing interactive portfolio where she's able to showcase all of the best things that she's done during her academic career and also spilling out into her own personal life as well. So you can look here, this is a digital portfolio. She's got her resume, videos, graphics, uh, the student ambassador program that she did, uh, the SWAT group that she's a member of, so a special extracurricular activities there. And then also, this is really cool. She's got the opportunity to share things like her own passions and her own business, which in this particular case is a, uh, a bakery called Madame Pastry. And of course, she's the school mascot, so she gets to share some really cool videos there as well. So when it comes to sharing resources, Wakelet is super, super easy. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to create your first Wakelet collection and then share it who, with whoever you want. So I'm in my home area here on Wakelet, and if you go to wakelet.com and sign up, you can go get to this home area, um, uh, sign up, and you'll obviously this area will be empty, but you'll be able to create your collections and get that filled up in no time. I'm gonna click create a new collection, and let's say that I'm an educator and I want to create a collection on uh, climate change for my students, right? I want to create a collection which kind of brings together a whole bunch of resources to share with them so that they get a better grasp and a better understanding of what climate change actually is. Super simple. I give my collection a title. I'm going to call it climate change. Write a quick description, being a bit lazy there. 
And then I can go ahead and add a cover image. So I can either upload an image from my own computer or I can choose from a free library of images that we've got. So if I search climate change into this, gosh, my spelling's bad. Um, you'll be able to see that there's lots of these amazing high definition images which I can use. I'm going to grab this one here and that's going to become the cover image for this collection. And I can also go and click on this little gear icon at the top, click add a background image and I'll do the same here. Let's just pick the first one there. So what I'm doing now is I'm making the collection really engaging just by adding pictures, just by making it look good. The alternative to this would be a, uh, let's say a doc or a hyperdoc even, where it's, it's just the white background with links. I'm gonna show you some really amazing things right now. This right here is where the magic starts, this little plus button. This is a magic wake up plus button. When I click it, you can see all of the different kinds of content which I can add into this wake up collection. So I'm gonna start by just finding this BBC article here about climate change. I'm gonna to go to the top, right click, copy the URL, go back to the Wakelet collection and check this out. I paste it in and like magic, that uh, item appears here with an image and with a description. And the really cool thing is I can actually go ahead and contextualize this collection, as, uh, this, this piece of content as well. So rather than just keeping it as it is, I can go right in, click the edit button and change this to read this first and add that context to the lesson or to the particular activity that I want my students to be engaged with. That's just one kind of piece of content which you can add to Wake Up. I'm gonna click the plus button again and let's see, on SoundCloud, this is a really cool podcast about climate change. Let's just copy that again, right click, copy, go back to Wakelet, right click, paste it in, and that SoundCloud podcast will embed into the Wakelet collection which means that the students aren't gonna to have to go off to soundcloud.com. They're gonna be able to listen to it there and then within this particular envir environment, within this collection. And of course, the same thing applies to uh, YouTube videos as well. So let me just go ahead, copy this. And I'm sure by now you're probably getting the idea. You're taking this mixed media content, you're pulling it all together into one place, and you're creating this awesome, engaging, interactive environment for your students to learn from. Um, the same thing applies to social media posts as well, so check this out. I'm on a tweet here from the UN. I've clicked on the tweet. Once again, right click, copy, back to Wakelet, plus button, right click, paste it in. And this will become second behavior for you. This will become, uh, sorry, not second, it'll become second nature and learned behavior for you because you can just copy and paste things really quickly and add them on. We've also got a, uh, an, an extension across all the browsers that you'll be able to do this even quicker. Okay, and now lastly, I'm gonna show you how to add text. You just literally click this little text button here and then just write whatever you want. Many teachers use this text element uh, as a way to kind of share instruction and add a bit more context to the resources which they're sharing. So let's just finish that. We also can uh, make it a header, make it bigger, underline it, very nice. And then I can rearrange things. So I can click on easy reorder mode and I can rearrange these items as I want. And the really cool part is there's four different layouts that you can choose, depending on the type of content that you want to get across to your students. So with this one here, I'm in the media view, which means that all of this will play in line and it's embedded. I've got a compact view, which is just for the links really. I've got a grid view, which is amazing when you want to compare resources. A mood board, where you can just drag and drop things around. It's a bit of organized chaos. You can have a lot of fun with this with your students, especially when you're collaborating with them because it's real time. So there's all these amazing resources flying in at once. Okay, so let's say I've created this collection and I wanna share it with my students. Up here in the top right, we've got three different privacy settings, public, unlisted, and private. Private means only you can see it. Unlisted means only people that you share the link with can see it. And then public means that everybody can see it and it appears on your Wakelet profile. Let's just make this unlisted for now. In the top left hand corner, I can click invite and actually invite my students to this collection where they can contribute their own thoughts and their own ideas to it by using the QR code or a copy code or just a copy link. Uh, you can discover how to do this by just uh, going to our YouTube channel um, or help center. You'll be able to find out really easily how to collaborate with your students on Wakelet. So I'm gonna click done here because I've finished this collection and I'm gonna click the share button because I wanna share this with my students or with my learning community. We've got loads of different options here. Google Classrooms, we've got Teams, we've got Twitter, uh, or you can just simply copy and paste this link, share it with whoever you want, and when they visit it, they don't need a Wakelet account, they'll be able to just view it exactly as though it's a web page. I can also export this as a PDF, and I can embed. 
So the really cool part is I can actually embed this Wakelet collection into my LMS, into my learning uh, management system, or I can embed it into my blog or my page. And that's it, that's the, uh, the Wakelet platform in a nutshell. Now, just bear in mind that I've only shown you uh, just a few examples of the amazing things that educators can do on Wakelet. Um, I've shown you digital portfolios, classroom newsletters, and lesson plans, but there's so much more. We're talking about learning resources, putting them all into one place, uh, exit tickets, entry tickets, uh, assignments, feedback. There is so much more that you can do. One of the best places to learn these ideas is uh, to follow us on Twitter and join the Wakelet community. Um, with the Wakelet community, your ideas and your feedback become reality on the platform. Every single feature which I've shown you here has all been because of your feedback as an educator. So we take that really seriously. It's a big part of what we do at Wakelet. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick 10 minute presentation. And uh, I hope that this sparks your journey to learn a little bit more about Wakelet. But for now, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.